What's up? This is Mike Orlando from Adrenaline Mob and Stereo Satellite. In this lesson, I'd like to revisit a technique that I briefly went over called percussive tapping. What it is, is it's two-handed technique, but in this particular lick, uh, the left hand is working octaves, and the right hand is going through the scales. I'm tapping each individual note of, say, an F-sharp minor chord, which is what this whole lick is based on. But you could do it in any lick, any key, any scale you like. This is just the technique that I use in a song of mine called Full Speed X from my Sonic Stop material. So I'm gonna lay down the rhythm for it first, and then we'll work into the licks and how everything goes. Okay, so the rhythm behind this whole lick is based in F sharp minor, and I start off just basically strumming the chords. And I just pick the uh, three high strings, the E, the B, and the G, and then I move up to an A major. Then an E chord. Then a D chord. And those are just octaves moving from D, C sharp, B to E back to the F sharp. The second half of it is based upon a uh, 16th note syncopated pattern. So it's just alternate picking. But the stabs are as if you were counting like one. So that's the rhythm of the, the pattern. And I just move it around from the F to the A, to the E, to the D. And then again, returning to the octaves, moving them. And that's the rhythm section of the backing part of the lick. Another thing to look at when you're doing the second part, the uh, fast 16th note, uh, you know, syncopated pattern is the way to jump to the chord. So you start working on the alternate picking part of it. Mute, of course, on the strings, so you keep it clean. But then you have to go to the whole chord and hit it. Returning to the alternate picking while you're doing it. So it's kind of like a jump technique between both. So I'm going. Always striking the full power chord, but returning to the muted position of the 16th note. So you want to kind of cleanly practice it and kind of, you know, transition from both. Muted 16th alternate picking to lifting your hand up off the strings and hitting that chord. Open. Okay, so the lick behind the chords is again based on an F sharp minor scale. And I'm basically percussive tapping, which is a, a hard tap and a release very fast. So it's that's the style that I'm using throughout the, the shapes and the licks and the chords movements. So I'll play it for you up to speed and then we'll break it down. Okay, so the lick is a two-handed technique. Um, the percussive tapping with actually both hands because the left hand is doing a series of octave movements tapping them, but basically um, coming off them really quick. So it's not a... I have to keep them tight 
because the right hand is following up, going over some of the same strings, so you have to pull the left hand off to accent and make the note from the right hand pop out. So it is, um, I'm moving with the, uh, the backing chords, F sharp minor to A to E to D. So the left hand fretted hand is doing a moving around with the chords and with the right hand what I'm doing is the percussive tapping technique because I'm not staying on any note going I'm hitting it real hard and fast and releasing it so it's and I'm going through the scale the notes of the chords as if you were going through a scale ascending and descending back and forth so for instance with the F sharp chord I'm going so I'm hitting it releasing it real fast because right behind it is the left hand doing notes so they're they have to uh, live harmoniously and the staccato technique helps keep it clean so this is the lick slow over the f sharp minor chord so that's the lick over the f sharp minor chord and then i move up to the a That's over the A, and then the E is a little different as far as the feel. It's more of a type of pattern. So I have the E chord with the E octaves, and I'm doing a So the octave is more of a, a little quicker. And then the same for the D chord. And then I just move it up an octave. And back to the F sharp. So I'll play it up to tempo, a little less gain, so you can hear all the notes nice and clear. That's basically it.